Yo, what's going on, FG fam? Welcome to another episode of the St. Louis Rams franchise here on Madden 21 Current Gen. As the Rams look to open up a brand new season on the road at MetLife Stadium against the New York Giants and Daniel Jones. It was a wild off season for St. Louis as they brought in a couple of big defensive stars in Jair Alexander and Leighton Van Der Esch. Will that help their defense become dominant and get them more wins than last year and maybe even a division title? Find out today. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise content. It's all we do here. Let's get it going. Johnny Hecker going to kick it off and it is into the end zone for the rookie Richardson and he will kneel it down and the Giants will start from their own 25-yard line. Daniel Jones in another season as a starting quarterback. Usually by now the Giants have found a replacement, but they haven't yet in this franchise. Here's the run by Saquon Barkley and he'll pick up three to the 28. Third and seven, Daniel Jones completes that one across the middle to Evan Ingram, who in this universe actually makes catches. Here's Daniel Jones on a second and 10 up the middle. It's Evan Ingram again for another big catch and another first down. Second and eight, Daniel Jones trying to go again. This time he was trying to get Sterling Shepard, but Leighton Van Der Esch with his first interception as a Ram. And St. Louis with the ball at their own 49. And out comes our starter, Jamal Carter. The Rams did draft a quarterback at number 14 overall in Scott Murray, but Jamal Carter, the incumbent starter, is going to be able to start right away this season. There's a four-yard run for Cam Akers, and leaving a third and six, Carter over to Cooper Cup for the first down, one of the favorite plays here in St. Louis. First and ten, Carter drops back to throw. He's got a lot of time, and he finds Cooper Cup wide open. Who is on this man? Because it is not working out for the giant defense right now. Cooper Cup open all over the field. Now second and goal. They're going to give this one to Cam Akers. And Akers will get into the end zone untouched for a Ram touchdown. And they strike first this season. 7-0 Rams on top of the Giants. Now 444 to go in the first quarter. There's Ingram again. Whoever's on Ingram's not quite doing the job at all times here. Cage giving some good pressure, gets it away to Barkley on the screen, and Grugier Hill making the tackle. Now third and 13 for Danny J. He's looking and blanketed. All his receivers blanketed. That is a coverage sack, but Tack McKinley getting in there on it and leaving a fourth and 22. Giants would punt. Here's Carter, play fake. And Carter's got an open man down the middle. It's Larry Hall for the big catch. Connor Williams goes down with injury. That is a big deal. Now second and nine up the middle. It's Burley. And Burley makes the play to the three-yard line. Rams setting up another first and goal. First and goal from the three with 148 to play. Here's Cam Akers. And he is pounding his way into the end zone for the touchdown. St. Louis with a two-score lead. And the Rams come into MetLife playing hard. They're up 14-0. Here's Daniel Jones. He hands it to Saquon Barkley. Nice spin move. Breaks to the outside. And Barkley down the left sideline to the 47-yard line of St. Louis Giants in enemy territory. Second and four. Here's Daniel Jones. That's a nice throw up the middle to Tate. And that'll go for the first down. And that is how the first quarter comes to a close. Rams on top, 14-0. We'll be back. From the 15-yard line, Giants here to start the second quarter. Third and nine. Look at the grab from Darius Slayton. A one-handed grab. We got to take another look at this. Look at this on Jair Alexander. Wow, what a catch. Unbelievable. And the Giants cut the lead in half. Here's Carter now underneath throw. Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup makes the grab. It's a first down on a second and two. Now later on, second and ten. Here's Carter looking up the middle. Got a wide open Larry Hall. Nice juke move to get out of the way there and pick up a couple extra yards. Flag on the play, though. A little dirty laundry 
it's a hold against St. Louis. Called on Connor Williams, who's back into the game. That is a good thing. There's Carter, second and 20, and he finds Burley deep for the completion and the first down. Carter, six of seven for 125 so far. There's Cam Akers. He's got a lot of room to run here. Breaks a tackle and gets his way to the 18-yard line and another red zone appearance for St. Louis. First and 10, here goes Cam Akers. This is an open room to run as he is finally hit down at the two-yard line. Cam Akers is running strong here in this first half. First and goal. This time they elect not to go to Akers. It is a short touchdown throw to the tight end, Thaddeus Moss. Thaddeus Moss hoping to be groomed to become the starting tight end once Higby is gone. We'll have to see how that works out for him. Evan Ingram on third and five is complete for the first down. Under five minutes to play in the half. It's 20 to seven Rams after a missed extra point by St. Louis. Here goes Saquon Barkley left side. Barkley's got a lot of room to run and he is fighting Taylor Rapp out of bounds. Barkley 10 carries for 63 yards. He's had a pretty good day. First and 10 for the Giants with 4.15 to play. Here's Daniel Jones, nice throw and a nice comeback route for nine. Now second and one, they're gonna give it to Barkley. Barkley's gonna easily pick up the first down before brought down by Kamu Grugier Hill. And now second and five. Here's Daniel Jones up the middle, wide open is Sterling Shepard and he will get to the end zone untouched for the touchdown. Excellent blocking after that catch by Sterling Shepard and it will be a six point game. Third and six with 2.04 to play in the half. Carter Hizzy throws on third and six, incomplete. And the ball would get back into the hands of the Giants and Daniel Jones. Second and 10, throws right side. He's got Saquon, that goes for a first down and he gets out of bounds at the 41 yard line. 1.41 to play in the half, Giants looking for some points. Here's Daniel Jones up the middle. He's got Evan Ingram, and Leighton Van Der Esch puts him on the floor, but not before he picks up a first down. Second and 10. There's Saquon Barkley. He'll pick up a first down. Giants moving the football. They're into enemy territory, and Evan Ingram again up the middle. Ingram has been a big part of the Giant offense. Timeout Giants, 29 seconds to go. Second and four. Here's Daniel Jones. Ingram again. They have loved that stick play with Evan Ingram. It has worked just about every time. Here's Daniel Jones again on first and 10. Up the middle. This time it's intercepted. He was going for Tate, and he found Jalen Ramsey by accident. Jalen Ramsey makes an amazing play in the end zone to get that done. And now with three seconds to go, here's Carter. Look at a heave one up, and he's hit as he throws. It's intercepted by Jabril Peppers, and Jabril Peppers takes it back to the 50, but with no time left in the half. It has been an exciting game thus far, and the St. Louis Rams go into the half on top, 20 to 14. We'll be back after this. Back for the halftime report, taking a look at some scores around the league now that this is no longer a 32-team control franchise. We can do this. 14-10, to 10, the Falcons leading the Buccaneers. Matt Ryan has a couple of touchdowns to Calvin Ridley. Also, going north a bit, the Ravens at home against Cincinnati. They're down 21-3, to 3. Joe Burrow with a couple of touchdown throws and mixing with a TD run to get the 21 points for Cincinnati. And then way up north in Minnesota, it's the Washington football team on top, 14 to 12. Baker Mayfield has thrown two interceptions for Washington, but they win despite that. So let's get started in the second half as Bailey hits this one off and it's about a yard deep in the end zone. Burley's going to take it out. And Burley getting across the 20, across the 30 for the first down for the Rams here at the 30-yard line. Now a second and three from the 37. It's Carter. Carter has some time. He waits till Hall gets over to the sideline, throws it to him for the first down. He'll get to the 49-yard line. Larry Hall's played pretty well today. Here's Carter on a second and seven. He finds Cooper Cup again on the slant route, beats him every time, and it goes for another first down. First and 10 from the Giant 31. Rams already in the opposing territory as 
There's Cam Akers with a big run. He's got 111 yards already on the day. Here goes Cam Akers again on third and two, and he picks up the first down. Reliable as all hell. Here's Carter now. Rolling to his right. He's got an open man there, but he goes for the deep man. Burley to the end zone for the touchdown. Jeremy Burley with a touchdown. His first touchdown of the year. 26-14. They're going to go for two here. Cam Akers will burl into the end zone to make it an even 14-point lead for St. Louis. The two-point conversion is good after that extra point that was missed earlier in the game. Now with 5.42 to go in the third, here's Daniel Jones, his first possession of the second half. He's chucking one up there, and it's intercepted by Jalen Ramsey. Shouldn't have went in that direction. Ramsey was feeling himself, and his second interception of the day proves that he was ready for it. So here goes Larry Hall, and Hall, nice juke move, finds his way out of bounds at the 37-yard line of New York. So the Rams looking to add to this big lead. Here goes Cam Akers, and Akers across the 25 to the 23-yard line. First down, Cam Akers has run with conviction today. Carter up the middle, he's got a wide-open Cooper Cup, who was finally brought down by Jabril Peppers at the three. And the Rams set up another first and goal situation. Here's a second and goal with three minutes to play in the third. Cam Akers will find his way into the end zone for the third time today. Cam Akers is finishing off these drives like a champ, and it is 35-14. This is what we wanted to see. As Ram supporters, you want to see them open the season just like this. Daniel Jones throws this one to Sterling Shepard. That'll go for a first down as Daniel Jones trying to bring his team back into this game. Third and six. Barkley's open. He steps out of bounds at the 48-yard line with a first down. Now second and six, they're going to give it to Barkley. Barkley with a spin move is going to find his way to the 37 of the Rams. Third quarter winding down, just 20 seconds left, and that is how it would end. We go into the fourth quarter. Rams on top big. We'll be back. Back for the fourth, first and 10 for the Giants. And Daniel Jones is going to go down. But he does get rid of the football somehow. Don't know how he did that. Here's still back from the 37, second and 10. Sterling Shepard will pick up the first down to the 26. Now a third and 10 from the 26. Here's Daniel Jones. He's got a man open, and Barkley is on fire, and he makes the grab at the five-yard line. First and goal, Giants. Changing the play a little bit here. Daniel Jones back of the end zone, into the corner for the touchdown. Big play in the first career touchdown reception for the rookie Richardson. Makes it 35-21. Here's Carter throwing deep right side. He's got Cooper Cup into enemy territory at the 41-yard line with 7.50 to go in this game. Cooper Cup, 103 yards on the day. He has played extremely well. Here goes Cam Akers, and he's up the middle for the first down. Once again, 31-yard line. Now second and eight. Carter. Looking to throw deep in route to Larry Hall, and it's complete down to the seven-yard line. Carter has played really well. He's only missed four passes. One of them was that crap time interception at the end of the first half. Here's Carter to Higby, and Higby gets into the end zone himself. Higby buries his way in. His first touchdown of the season goes to make it 42-21, and the Giants all but a formality as Evan Ingram makes this catch for a first down, five minutes to play. Daniel Jones, three touchdowns, three interceptions on the day so far. See if he could score again here before time runs out for some more respect. Daniel Jones on first and 10 up the middle. Evan Ingram's wide open again. Evan Ingram down the field to the 11-yard line. And the Giants looking to strike first and strike hard. No mercy, sir, on this one. Second and four. Here's Daniel Jones to the right side. And into the end zone for the touchdown is Thomas. As the Giants come back strong on this drive with a touchdown. But it's still a 14-point lead for St. Louis. As that one bounces and it will go into the hands of Van Jefferson. As the Rams making the play there. Here's Carter throwing up the middle to Higby. You would figure they don't really need to throw the ball, but 
Every third down, they're looking like they're going to do it. But there's Cam Akers, and he'll pick up the first down. But a flag on the play would lead to fourth and eight. So a field goal through the uprights for the Rams. They're up 17. No shot for the Giants with a minute and eight to go. But look at Saquon Barkley make this big play. And the Giants looking to score before this thing's all said and done. Here's Daniel Jones. He's hit it by Tack McKinley, and it's intercepted by David Long Jr. Big time interception. Prevents the Giants from getting any more points, and it's 45-28 is the final score. Passing yards for the Giants at 373. Rushing yards for the Rams at 177. They had four takeaways and an average of nine yards per play. Rams offense played very well, their defense played very well, and that's what we really want to see. We made the additions to the defense, we knew the offense could score some points, but now the defense can score, stop people from scoring points. Jamal Carter, 17-22 for 275, three touchdowns and a pick. Daniel Jones, 32-44 of 44 for 373, four touchdowns, four interceptions. So Jamal Carter outplays Daniel Jones, you'll love to see that. Cam Akers, 176 yards and three touchdowns, what a day for him. Evan Ingram could not be stopped, 178 yards, but Cooper Cup had 103, and we had quite a few guys over 50 yards receiving, which was good. On defense, there were no sacks today. Two interceptions by Ramsey, one for Van Der Esch and one for David Long, so good to see the new addition working out in Van Der Esch as he had an interception in the game. Take a look at some of the scores from week number one. The Falcons come out on top over the Bucks in overtime, 27-21. Of course, we beat the Giants, just saw that. 36-12, Washington ends up beating Minnesota. Jets win 17-10 over Buffalo. Cincinnati wins 24-21 as they hold on over the Ravens. 24-21, Jacksonville. 27-21, Miami. 21-10, New Orleans. 20-14, Kansas City. 23-17, London Bulldogs over the Vegas Raiders. Patriots kill the Lions. Seattle kills San Francisco, which we don't really like to see. But our next opponent is going to be Minnesota, and they are unfortunately starting Kirk Cousins, as I am not taking over to make sure that they don't. But Chase Walton will be the backup if we can hurt Chase Cousins, uh, Kirk Cousins, which, you know, I'm not going to say there's a bounty on him, but, you know, we won't be upset if he gets hurt. But it will be the Minnesota Vikings that we will be taking on in the next episode. So I want to hear what you guys have to say about how the team played today. Are they looking better here in season number three? What do you all think? Let me know. And what do you think is going to be the score in the Vikings game as we take a look at the games that will be played in week number two? Give me some score predictions of that Vikings game. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise content. It's literally all we do here. We can build a winner together. If you want to see more franchise, click right here to see some more franchise.